when you are standing in that forest of sorrow. You cannot imagine that you could ever find your way to a better place. But if someone can assure you that they themselves had stood in that same place and now have moved on, sometimes this will bring hope. And that's who NAMI is. We are support, education, and advocacy. And through delivering uh, support and education, the natural outcome is uh, becoming an advocate in the community for issues around mental health. I think what a lot of people just don't understand is that people with mental illnesses are just people who happen to have an illness and they have the same needs, the same desires, and, and the system unfortunately over a really long period of time has been in some ways very abusive towards people with mental illnesses and so many tend to give up and I think what often happens is it makes it hard for them to want to get help because they're not so sure they can trust anybody or what that help really means. And NAMI plays a huge role in helping us bridge that. It helps us reestablish relationships with people with mental illnesses. It helps educate family members who are so frustrated and angry and have in some ways given up their on their own because they just don't know where to turn anymore. No one's prepared as, as a young person to experience the, the type of situations that you experience when you're when you have a family member that's mentally ill I mean first of all there's a lot of shame involved with mental illness you feel different you don't feel normal you don't feel like you're you're like everybody else no one explains to you anything and the family member in my case since it was my older sibling becomes a priority so you're kind of like shifted to the side a little bit it's understandable now as an adult but as a child you don't really know what's going on and you see all this erratic behavior and it's it's super difficult. I mean, it totally destabilizes your entire world. Like you're you're pretty much left in in a very unsafe, vulnerable place. It's one of those horrific illnesses that affects the entire community. The person that has the illness, their immediate family, and then all the collateral damage that happens because we don't treat it appropriately. Whether it's acute ended uh, systems spending a lot of money in hospitalization or jail and, and, and so this cycle just continues and NAMI plays this wonderful role to help us break a lot of those barriers down. Treatment is designed for the individual who has the disease but it's not really designed to fund people beyond that Medicaid, for instance, will not pay for family care, even though it's indicated and you have to treat the whole family. So NAMI is the best support we have for long-term care and to support the entire family and help them through a difficult disease. NAMI, as a national organization, has over 13 signature programs. Programs that range from support groups for family members, support groups for individuals who are living with a mental illness, to uh, education classes. Our family to family class covers subjects ranging from understanding how a diagnosis is made. It also gives families some idea and insight into uh, understanding what it's like to be the individual who's living with a mental illness. There there's also a peer-to-peer -peer program that is a similar type of program uh, as Family to Family. It runs for 10 weeks and it's to help individuals who are living with mental illness to manage their lives and strengthen their sense of self in the community. I was encouraged to seek out a support group and I attended support groups and from there I found a, uh, a space where I could safely and comfortably share my story. It was very refreshing because uh, mental illness can be very isolating. It's, I think, an almost normal response to feel as if you're the only person this is happening to. And then the stigma society imposes upon mental illness further reinforces that isolation. So again, having a community, a space, a group of peers where you're self-empowered and allowed to make sense of the experience through your own voice and not just be a victim someone who's been diagnosed, someone who's had a medical illness, unfortunately a medical illness occurred to them. For so long, you know, there was so much ignorance towards these illnesses, people thought it was a issue of choice. I mean, it is an organic brain illness. It's no different if you broke your arm, had cancer, heart disease, it's an illness. And what most people don't understand is that 
the recovery rates for people with mental illnesses are actually better than people with diabetes and heart disease. And so it's so important to have NAMI out there to help educate families who act as ambassadors to the rest of the community to help us educate the community in these areas. Anytime a family has needed help or uh, education, I've seen their, that kind of support. I've also seen family members who were hopeless and had nothing else attend a NAMI meeting and have a miraculous sense of hope and wellness. And I think hope is an important thing in any disease. You have to believe you will get better and the family will get better in order to get better. NAMI has helped me over time realize that I could be more open about it and, and share more about what, has, what I've been through. And, um, and it's, it's great how it helps me and it's, it's great to see how it can help, how it can help others too. So. I think all of us are starting to understand that we need to have a grand vision of what an ideal community system should look like. And it's backwards right now. Uh, your first access to treatment shouldn't be through jail. Your first access to treatment shouldn't be at a Baker Act facility. Your first access to treatment shouldn't be at a hospital. It needs to be much earlier. And NAMI can play a wonderful role in helping us get that message out to people and helping get the services connected with people that need it at a much earlier stage, including helping institutions like our school system identify kids earlier who are showing signs and symptoms and getting services earlier. Because we also know that the earlier you identify someone with a mental illness, just like any other illness, that the better outcomes we're going to have because the treatment is going to be easier to bring forward to, to people.